Hey, this is Sergey Vitlin with Serg on the Streets, Shack TV, Summit Shack, Focella 5, here in Bowling Green, Ohio. We're Bowling Green, Ohio. We're here at Howard's Club H. It's Focella 5, July 16, 2022. We're fucking out here. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited that all my friends are shooting it and playing it. And I'm tired, my tum tum hurts, but hopefully that gets better later. I'm looking forward to coffee. I love my daddy. Oh god, it's so hard looking into the sun. Um, Oh, there you go. Awesome one. Walk over to like a puddle like this one. And then he got down, went like this, licked the puddle, and then he kept on walking. And I was like, holy shit, no one was around to see that? Complete batshit insane. This have to look pretty for the camera. Cool, thanks. Wow, this is so weird. <laughs> Canada's really going through some shit, and I think people should look at that. Their inflation on food is even worse than ours. Like, and it's not even like, oh, import is bad. No, like grocery stores are like, we can make more money off of people. So we're gonna raise food prices as far as we can and people are like starving. I'm excited for breakfast tomorrow. And if you know, you know. Is this how people feel when Andrew interviews them? Maybe. Now I understand why they ramble. Because it's like I just need to ramble because you're not saying anything. So I'm just going to dig myself into a hole. Here's my fiance. Do you want to talk to us? No. Okay. I feel like I'm going to break soon and it's great. And I hope it's today. I could pop off today. Patiently waiting for our set later. Very excited. We've been practicing for the past two days in the shack. I've got blisters on my fingers. I don't know. It's been pretty like mundane recently. I, sometimes no news is good news. I saw somebody have a flat tire in Liberty Tunnel in Pittsburgh and traffic was like crazy back then. <laughs> so we've been playing a lot of poker. Just me, the fam. I got a lot of the Summit Shack crew to play poker till like 4 in the morning last night because why not do that before a 12 hour festival? It was fun. It's just a beautiful day, a beautiful weekend to just come hang out with some homies and see like a bunch of friends who I haven't seen for months and months. Like That's the beauty of these freaking festivals, you know? I'm excited at the possible ability to not be poor and sustainably live comfortably. That's cool. We should all be taking personal finance classes in high school. I personally believe that. I wish I would have. If there is someone who you like are friends with or a significant other, somebody you love, or if you have a kid and say they have a trash credit score, you just listing them as a card user on your credit card can bring up their credit score. I just really, really love the whole operation of how everything runs here. And uh, I appreciate you interviewing me. And I'm just honestly just very happy to be surrounded by so many cool people today. I woke up at 4.30 in the morning and now I'm here. It like four hours to get here. I'm gonna go to Canada. I've never been to Canada. Um, I might just stay there, you know? I don't wanna be in America anymore. I don't think it's as perfect as people say it is, but they have universal health care, which is already just like a big step up from the United States. All of the bartenders are going to one of the bartenders' house after, and Kelly made a sign for her hammock um, that says reserved, so I can immediately fall asleep. I like to get fucked up. That's always a good time. I'm excited for that today and in the future because it's, it's definitely going to happen again. Today won't be the last time. I fell in love. That's pretty crazy. Tell me about love. It's fun. I can't remember the last day that I was not at this bar. Genuinely. <laughs> hey. Hey. I, I snuck in here. I'm trying to touch every single instrument. They don't let me in here. Why? I'm just excited to be talking to you. Oh, thanks. Big fan. Thanks, Chris. I mean, Joey. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Fucking Focella, man. Can't beat it. What's been going on with you recently? Getting by in this existential crisis we call life. I don't know, avoiding life and death on the road, driving a truck. It all kind of runs together, though. Thoughts on driving a truck? Don't do it. Don't do it. What else do you want to tell us? Taxation is theft. Absolutely. And become ungovernable. That's the best advice I can give. I'm Chris. Uh, then I would be Chris too. Uh, my snare kind of broke in the middle of a set, but uh, fixed it. It went great. So 
and I make adult diapers, and then we get together like every Sunday and jam, and I play a lot of disc golf, and that's pretty much it. We may or may not have matching ankle tattoos. Do you want to see them? I think we do. C squared. So uh, we have the same initials, same name, and we grew up on the same street, so pretty sweet. We got drunk and then get, decided to get matching tattoos. That's Back fucking dope. I got arrested, hospitalized by DPD. Shout out to them for my PTSD. <laughs> well, I work at a I work at a fireworks store, so I I don't like fireworks. I've never lit a firework off in my life, but damn, can I sell fireworks? <laughs> the week of the Fourth of July, I worked 90 hours. Why don't I like fireworks? They're like bad for the environment and they scare the shit out of animals. And a lot of people that like went to war literally have PTSD. So that happening is literally triggering them. I'm like, what's the point? You're not honoring anybody. Like, what are you doing? It's usually just crazy people trying to be like, I want to bring my gun in here. And I'm like, you can't. This for store is full of explosives. I have 520 plus hours in Animal Crossing. I'm building a, like a like a pier area with like rides and an arcade and stuff right now. That's where it's at. I'm super uh, obsessed with watching drums, so it's fun. It's fun in general. I haven't worked in like three weeks, so I've literally just been doing whatever I want. Longboarding, enjoying the summer. Oh, I'm actually a great great uncle. Like I, I have 12 siblings. I have a twin. Uh, my oldest sister is like 57, so like, I'm, I've been an uncle since I was like five. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Sergey. Sergey? Yeah. Sergey. Nice. All right, now I know. I just had to put that in my core memory. All right, we're good. But you know, I walk everywhere. That's what's great about BG. You know, biker friendly, pedestrian friendly town, really safe, great music. If I could do this all the time, I would. But it's really it's about supporting other people, really, and you know, just being present. You know, that's what's so important in music. I wanted to point out that this thing is like super cool, and I'm like super impressed with all these like different type of. Uh, uh, like uh, event things. I always try to walk, you know, 11 minutes of walking, exactly, that's how you clear your mind if you want to have a, you know, good reflection on everything in your life, you know. I love White Claws. Mango White Claw is definitely the top tier of all hard seltzers. I think things are getting better. Uh, I look forward to like a day where music is kind of all the way back to where it was, you know. What is your opinion? Grilled cheese with grape jelly. Tell me more. It's quite simple, actually. If you drink wine, typically you pair it with cheese. What's the difference? You know what? I have to say, I probably would fuck with it. Darcy, that's an L. Way out okay. Common Darcy L. I love the McMuffins with the grape jelly. Peanut butter and cheese. Hi. No, I'll fuck with no, that. I'm not. I'm a peanut butter and cheese. The idea of it, hate it. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm telling the story about last night. We thought Eric died. Oh. Holy shit. Eric fell asleep. I'm glad you're alive. Thank you. Fun fact, if you're a Michigan driver going through Ohio, police will target you and try to give you a ticket uh, if you're speeding at all. So that's the big Michigan thing. If you're driving through there, you make sure that you are going the absolute speed limit. It's like 60 on the, on the freeway. I'm going like 85 in Detroit. I mean, come on now. The other day when I was driving home from band practice, I saw two cars pulled over on the side of a road. And these two dudes are like just in the street, just, just going at it, like just hitting the shit out of each other. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Stay the fuck away from the rock spot if you're in Chicago. Dick Cheney made money off the Iraq war. Uh, that too. It's weird because I used to live up here. Because of that, it has a lot of nostalgia here, plus all the shows. Howard's is basically what I come up here for. <laughs> been playing a lot of Pokemon Go again. I don't know, because I played it like back when it came out, what, six years ago? And then I've been playing for the past month, so I feel like I'm just relearning the game. But it's been awesome, like, walking around. What else do you want to tell us? Honestly, absolutely nothing. Head is completely empty right now. <laughs> but I'm just having a good time. Last night, got Taco Bell. They didn't, I ordered three things, but I ate one thing, and it was actually a blessing because my stomach hurt and maybe one was enough. I woke up at 3.30 this morning to drive here, and I've just been driving for like nine hours. Wow. Yeah. Thoughts on Philly? Definitely different than most other cities. It's a little dirty and fun, and... I live there, and I love it. It's great. Frank, already your old neighbor, 
who's kind of like Paulie Walnuts from The Sopranos, rest in peace. I go outside and he says something to me that would, I don't understand what he's saying to me. We're both Italian. I still don't understand him. He never has pants on. He gives me one of these. He never has pants on. I go back inside. Amazing. You're watching this, Frank. Love you. Thoughts on The Sopranos? My favorite show in the world. You already know that Tony Sirico and James Gandolfini are sitting at uh, the big Stugats 2 boat in the sky with their thing, with their tray, with the metal tray, getting the sun rays. the sun on their neck. And they're talking trash. They're talking trash, making deals. Live in Philly, originally from New York, right here, baby. New York Mets. Hashtag LGM, let's go Mets, you already know. Um, We start walking away from the car. I'm like, Jack, let me get my keys. She's like, I gave them to you. I'm like, oh, no, you didn't. Locked in the car. But we're parked in front of a deli slash pizzeria. Guy comes out with this big mozzarella thing. and Big, big, big spatula. He's like, oh, I've done this a hundred times. Shoves it on top. Does it like this. Has a little hook. Shoves it in. Hooks the keys. Pulls them out. We're on our way. Holy shit. Crazy. Oh, you already know. Just be here. Be excited. Be at Focella 5. What is your name behind the camera? Hello, let's go. Let's get a peek. Oh. Hey, it's me. I hope this is in focus. Yeah. Do you want to talk to us? No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cute. Yeah, I found out that if we play, we get in for free. So yeah. that's kind of the only reason that yeah. we're here. That's right. That's cute. Been yeah. getting into that baby recently. Yeah. Like that shit's late. late. Yeah, y'all here a Monster Hunter? Yes. Yeah, we're gaming out here. What's up? What's hey, what's up? going on? You good? At the end of the day, it's like you get in there, you get you get a couple of your buddies on, and you just go slay some monsters, you know? That's like a good allegory for life in general. Quarantine was rough, but it's it's a good chance for a whole new wave of acts, and I'm like so pumped about it. Uh, the scene means a sh like a lot to me, uh, and it's just it's cool to see this stuff happening. You know, we never thought that we'd be anywhere, so just being a part of anything like this is huge for us. Uh, I mean, we just watched Seafoam play. <laughs> what? Nothing, you're fine. Last Halloween, my car got egged, and on the 4th of yeah. July, uh, these kids shot paintballs through my window, and they hit me in the head. Pretty much every time we play a show, one of them says something about how they hate Chicago. And I have to be like, no, it's cool, guys. I, I like it here. Uh, <laughs> Not um, to, like, undercut mod, because I, I respect uh, your opinion. What about my Go off. Chicago is the worst city I've ever been to, <laughs> and I regret living there. Uh, fuck the Supreme Court. Oh, so true. For sure. Very yes. true. Leonardo, most underrated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Love the fit, by the way. Thanks. Awesome. Sleeves are coming off soon. Yeah. <laughs> Things seem to be running a little too smoothly. I'm, I'm in my nervous phase. I'm scooping ice cream in the desert right now. It's music related still, but Ellie's in equipment. Personally, I'm stoked to uh, impersonate Pete Wentz today. Really taking some solace in like these giant ass ravens that are hanging out outside of my dorm right now. They're in love. I found out they partner for life. I've started enjoying the drink Rumplemans. That's pretty crazy. Just have fun and be yourself. That's really what's important here. Here at Focella 5 in Bowling Green, Ohio, Howard's Club H. We're watching Half Kidding play right now. They're fucking awesome. So many amazing people in that band. All, all together, greatest sound I've heard from them in years. Clinical depression is a real thing. What's up since the last time I saw you? Uh, a lot and not very much. I mean, I, I just work a lot on like studio projects and stuff, so. Some mixing, some mastering, some, you know, recording here, there. I have a quiet life, you know? All right, I think it's time for the sleeves to come off. It's being performed by professionals. Don't try this at home. Thank you. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah. oh, oh dang. holy shit. Ow. Yo. Hell yeah. That's great. Thanks. My name's Chris. My name is Pat Ray. What have y'all been up to? Vibing. Steady. I ate a 10 hour old Taco Bell burrito for breakfast. Leftover Taco Bell is God's work right there. Bring back the Mexican pizza again. Never bring back the nacho fries, those are garbage. I split my lip, my guitar hit me in the face during a music video shoot. Holy shit, that's metal as hell. Yeah, just rock and roll. And now there's gonna be a permanent scar. But now you have a story. Exactly. 
No symbols is the new symbols. Don't use symbols. Drummers. I'm Baba Booey. <laughs> <laughs> played a pretty fun set earlier. I played Mango Tree, I played drums. A whole lot of awesome love and music happening today. It's a very good time. I tour manage Origami Angel, so like, the only thing I do is music. So, I'm very grateful for that. I'm moving to Salt Lake City literally tomorrow. After the last set tonight at like 1 a.m., I'm driving four hours to Pittsburgh, loading up a shipping container, and then driving 2,000 miles to Salt Lake City. It's not that hard to be a good person, so be a good person. Hey, and they said uh, short sleeve shirts with suit jackets was cheesy. I said, fuck that. Hello. Hi. Hi there. Okay. Are you going to have a smoking cigarette? Bocella 5. Working, surviving, kind of, you know. Are you good? <laughs> Do you, let's, what's going on? You... Water is your best friend and always drink water. It'll save your life. Enough said. I actually just found out that Mike from Summer Brews, his grandpa was best friends with Kurt Vonnegut in Indianapolis, and his grandpa is one of the main characters in the book Jailbird, which is wild to me. Holy shit. What was the question? I have this like weird thing where everywhere I go, like an old man needs to like tell me their life story. And we were in Chicago. I go into the bathroom and he's in the stall, like lighting it up. Like I've never smelled anything like this in my life. Pops out the stall and looks me dead in the eye while I'm at the urinal and goes, brother boy, it's fucking reckless in there right now. You better watch yourself. Gives me a big old hug and like lifts me up and spins me around. Three hours later, standing out front of Wrigley Field right here, brother boy. Lifted me up like a newborn baby. Like I felt like I was like born again in the arms of God. And then our tour manager bought two tickets to the Cubs game off of him. Just next time you take a poop, think about me, you know. I don't want to have to dig that out. How about Flush poop? twice. Every poop I take, I'll think of you. Okay, that's cool. That's fair. I think the police wrote a song about that. The police? Every poop you take? <laughs> no, I think it was message in a poop take. Mm. Mm. That might have been it. I'm gonna shit in Connor's bed. I'm gonna drop a steamy loaf. I posted on Twitter a picture of me with my pants around my ankles on Connor's bed in his house while he was still here. When that happened, I just... I don't know if it was disappointment, but I definitely... it put a smile on my face. I enjoy Fochel 5 and... don't shit in Connor's bed. <laughs> Fuck cops, fuck a job, share smiles with your friends, have a good time, take care of each other. It's giving me non flashbacks. Hi, we're Summer Breeze, and this is the burning chowder. I'm on summer vacation, I'm on tour, I'm having a coffee. That's everything that's going on with me. The hit rogue deck building roguelite Slay the Spire uh, within music. Shout out uh, The Watcher. Uh, me and Stoff beat uh, Ascension Level 7 on Ironclad yesterday with uh, three limit breaks in our deck, so that was pretty sick. What else do you want to tell us? I hate paying rent, so kind of like a Mao Zedong in that way where, you know, I liked his approach, but, you know, you got to organize people to get that to work, so. You have your landlord, and landlord has like two segments, a head and a body. Now if you remove the head from the landlord, it's unable to suck the rent out of you anymore, and you know, it's better for everybody. Every day's a nightmare, in like a good positive way, so you know, just gotta hang in there, see what tomorrow brings. Just hope for the best tomorrow, you know? We saw the biggest fucking beetle we've ever seen that was apparently just in our van the whole time. It like looked like if I hit it, I might gain a level. Also, don't forget to spay and neuter your cats. Thank you, have a good night. Here. <laughs> I'm going pro at Fortnite. I'm thinking about taking my papercraft Etsy to the next level and start doing some multi-level marketing. Thinking about getting a grill. Grilling is a lost art, you know, it's, uh, it's something that's not practiced in America very often anymore and uh, I'm trying to bring it back to the masses. Biking in general is just so much fun. It's kind of going back to, you know, just getting to go around and cruise. It's um, a totally different feel than driving in a car. I've had multiple co-workers quit and it's turning my life uh, inside out. <laughs> I had a random person yell nonsense gibberish at me as I was walking here earlier today. Oh yeah, oh yeah! Thoughts on suffering? 
it builds character, and honestly, if we didn't have suffering, we wouldn't be able to have the joy that we normally experience. So I welcome it from time to time, you know. DIY Santa has to come back. I think we all need to tear off our sleeves. Hentai is art. Uh, one, two, three, good burn! I'm, uh, yeah, I'm excited about Big Daddy's truck stop. It's a, it's a truck stop up in Michigan. Yeah, it's a Yeah, literally right up there. They've got like the cleanest bathrooms you've ever seen if you're out on tour. I guess that I can get this battle started. Yeah, Nick, I really think that you smell like you farted. Just like these bars that are thrown at you, if you don't have a bar to give me, then fuck you. Caught a Pokemon named Mew. Yo, I got a wallet. I don't have two. Oh, yo, I'm gonna go be in the loop so I can take a whiz. Yeah, I was in math class. They called me the whiz. Yeah, I was in algebra class. They called me the whiz. Yeah. <laughs> We need to all be on the same page about who the champion is. These bands that are making fools of themselves in a good way on stage. What I just did, I've been working on for 25 years of my life. I'm currently uh, making a gin and tonic. I got introduced to the DIY scene here in Bowling Green, Ohio uh, a couple months ago. Initially, I didn't think a whole lot of it. But uh, after I went to my first show, uh, I, I just thought it was uh, honestly a pretty good scene. Uh, I certainly underrated it. Um, what's got you uh, excited recently? Uh, I mean, oh, whoops. What has got me excited recently? No, I have a really fucking boring life. It feels like for the first time in my life, I'm actually getting my life on track. And for someone who's uh, kind of been a habitual uh, fuck up, um, being able to get my shit straight uh, actually feels pretty good. As uh, our brother in Eastern Europe might say, what a show. What a show indeed. Okay, cool. You look great. You look super hot. Oh. Um, yeah. Sorry, I, not that it's, not that, uh, not that you don't, I just, um, I'm, Never mind. Yeah, no. Wow. He's, he's Holy shit. I'm so flustered all of a sudden. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. He's in a committed James relationship. Uh. <laughs> okay, here. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's reset that. I don't really like vaping, but I do it anyway. Uh, I prefer acoustic weed. I got some gumbo that I'm going to eat here in a second. Life's good. Hey, what's, uh, what's got you excited recently? Um, the gumbo. What's got you? excited um just out here talking to people you know um getting put in my place and this something you like are into and choose or i think it depends on the person okay yeah, yeah i feel that what's something <laughs> we did cook at a venue that's not you know get out i regret <laughs> asking you to come over here thoughts on autozone um you're not supposed to fix your cars in their parking lot but if you're really nice to them they'll let you do it this is an ad. Please, AutoZone, sponsor my band. Callus Dowboys behind me. Going absolutely fucking insane. Yeah, we're having a wonderful time. I hope that you're having a wonderful time too. Thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, yeah, it's fucking amazing, so. I really liked waving. There's actually um, a dude uh, who's playing bass with him, Jeff. I traded shirts with him. The best thing about my day. I have his shirt in my bag. It's crazy. Because they're both Hawaiian shirts, yeah, so like, they traded. He was wearing this shirt, and he was like, do you want to trade shirts? So I said, yeah, why not? Mm. Do you want to trade some cards? Yeah. Oh, hey, you have me. Oh, is that you? Yeah. Oh. Hi, my butt hurts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about my butt. You good? You good? You good? No, 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 go ahead. You good? No, don't worry about it. You good? No, 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 no take it. Take now it. just walk on through. Y'all are fine. Wow, I can't believe those people. <laughs> I'm starting to really discover that time is uh, uh, not linear at all. I went to a bathroom and it was completely blown out. I don't know what happened to the poor guy that was in there. It was bad. Fine mist. Zero out of ten. Um. Yeah, if you ever walk into a room that's been aerosolized with shit, then definitely wear a face mask. I'm pretty sure I have pink eye now. Um, I got up? one of your special edition cards. Yeah. It's the, uh, the, the Shack Shitter. I use the poop here exclusively. That's really got me excited is the fact that the world's like burning right now, but we as a people are uniting, you know? 
silver lining, it sucks, but we'll make it through it. I wake up, I hear a chirping sound. So I turn my fan off, thinking like my fan's squeaking. It's not. Turn my AC unit off, still squeaking. In my sink, they're just a bat going batshit crazy in my sink. They're cute, but some are infectious. So, you know, keep them away from me, you know. Bat lives matter, but. <laughs> Everybody stay safe, stay happy, and stay blessed. I won a speed eating burrito competition at the Qdoba down the street. I'm super sweaty and I've got like rice on my face, but I kicked everybody's ass and had a good time doing it. Free burritos for a year. You can't beat that when you're a broke college kid, right? If you feel like you're, if you can't stop, you'll die, you might want to slow down. Take a deep breath. You will figure it out. Sometimes it's good to slow down and, and take a breather. Um, I'm really proud of Connor. I've known him for like 12 years now and he's doing really cool things here and just, um, I'm really proud of him. Spring probably of next year is what we're aiming for. The freshman EP of Mango Tree, thank you for thinking of me. Uh, I hope you enjoy it when it comes out. I've just been living in Cleveland trying to make it. Making it doesn't mean like, oh, making it big. Making it just means waking up every day and taking a couple breaths. Breathing is a luxury. My wheel exploded on the freaking freeway the other day, bro. My tire, it was like smoke coming from my freaking wheel. Like, what's going on? Love the Summit Shack family. Love Connor. Um, yeah. That's what's there he is right now. Where is he? Connor, I love you. I love you. Hey. Family friendly moshing is what we're all about. World's greatest at, you know, after all. Also, when a beach sees the dog, sees the beach for the first time, that's a magic moment, you know? I'm, I'm pretty blasphemous and I don't want to um, hurt anybody's feelings. Play a lot of The Sims. I wish that the expansion packs would be cheaper. Cheaper. Come on, EA, what the fuck? I downloaded a mod that we're not going to talk about. Tell me about it. It's out going to the hospital when you're sick. Sick with a baby. Pregnancy mod? Yeah, I make every single one of them go in the surgery machine. My cat of six years finally likes me. The only downfall is now he beats the crap out of every single one of my friends. <laughs> Haku. Slander him. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we stayed in the timeshare last night. It was kind of weird, it was, it was very culty. It was I don't on know. a man-made lake in the middle of Pennsylvania. There was a street on it called Blackbeard's Lair. It seems like there's like a group of rural Pennsylvania Republicans who are cosplaying as pirates. It seems like a Fallout side quest almost. <laughs> you know, it's... We're happy about that, yeah. But, uh, that was very well put. We're going to the Rainforest Cafe in Buffalo, New York. We're so <laughs> fucking excited. We're going to recreate the Waffle House fighting vine at the Rainforest Cafe yeah. and dismember <laughs> all the animatronics. I hit some, like, hit some guy with my car the other day. That was pretty cool, but... Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. I watched the lead singer of um, New Found Glory get a haircut. My little brother um, decided to buy a lot of V-Bucks. <laughs> and I mean like 13,000 V-Bucks, which is like 150 bucks. So I had to call him. I was on the phone with him for like two hours with my mom. After transferring through three people in that department, they were finally like, yeah, we're just going to like, just drop it. Nice. The time for music generation to be unleashed into the world is right now. Play Elden Ring. And stop being ashamed of the music you like, unless it's made by pieces of shit. That's cool. I go for like Ooh. a minute rant. Ooh. Oh, I like that. A whole lot of bullshit, to be honest. Damn, for real? Uh, let's get real. Now. Tell me. Let's get, uh, if we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. I hate Ben Quad. Oh, we, have, we have beef. We have beef. I'm starting the beef right now. <laughs> Live. Contrary to their bumper sticker, they're putting the mid in, in Midwest, Midwest demo. I just want to make that clear. Honestly, yeah. it's been a lot of good hangs with these, these Ben people's. Squad. Yeah, the Ben Squad, for real. It's been dope. I'm, I'm glad y'all turned it around because we were going to rush the fuck yeah. out. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Please don't. I'm so sensitive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, hey. <laughs> Things that make me happy. Uh, tortas make me happy. Um, but yeah, everything sucks besides that. Hot chip challenge? Not again, dude. Yes. I think it lasted for like two hours. It was the worst two hours of my life, eating the Pocky chip. But that was bad. Ah, I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck you. <laughs> Too many bad memories now. <laughs> 
I spent like 30 minutes in the front yard afterwards drinking a gallon of milk, like from the jug, like it was disgusting. <laughs> uh, I wish Chris was here, but uh... Hey, there he is. Hey. Hey. I literally was wearing a Halloween shirt, uh, the movie Jock Carpenter, and this lady just came up to me, she's like, I love that shirt, I want to buy it from you. $25. And I was like, uh, no, nah. <laughs> I like the shirt, <laughs> come on. So, yeah, last night we were at the bars in uh, Bloomington. Some dude on, what was he riding? A uh, bird scooter, yeah. Yeah, he was riding one of those and tried to scare a drummer, just like, ah! And then he immediately ate shit and <laughs> T-boned his other friend. It was fucking funny. As soon as they got up, they were like, ah, oh, fuck. Yo, we get back, and we need to get some more bitches, bro. Let's go. <laughs> I remember I was like, he got that dog in him. <laughs> Do y'all have any trading cards? I see people with Edgars, and I'm so sad. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we got the real thing. I do not have Edgar anymore. I did earlier. You, you traded it? it? Yeah. You got that? You got that? Dude, that hurts. I've got to mosh to the song Mosh Pit Girlfriend, which has been something I've been wanting for a while, so it's nice to finally do that. Besides Focella, I also went to DIY Burning Man too, which is a lot of fun. You guys were there too, weren't you? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we just out here living right now, bro. I'm just hanging out. Bro! Art. Thoughts on hentai? I approve. It's not my thing. <laughs> that will be used against you. I quit my job. I used to work at a bank. Fuck the bank. They do a bunch of unethical shit. Banks like they, like the they try to don't trust your banker because he's trying to get you into debt. The government is like the bank. Fuck both of them, I guess. <gasps> Somebody spilled some beer. Yo, are you gonna drink that? My beer just fell to the ground. Will you buy me a beer? Nope. I, brought, I got a friend in from Asheville, alright? Hey, loud pipes saved lives, okay? So that's cool. Howard's has been up and down since the 30s, of course. And there was a period 10, 15 years ago after we were here, and this was our scene back in the day, where it was a total shithole. And not in a good way. I mean, it's a great shithole now, okay? And so to see shit like this, it's it's fantastic. It's it's events like this that uh, bring us out of our caves for a while, for sure. And I try to get into the jungles of Central America as often as I can looking for coffee. So that, you know, that's my, my pastime, as it were. You know, whatever, you know, as a coffee company, one of our goals is to look for something a little bit different, and that requires us stepping out of the box a little bit, going to Guatemala or Nicaragua or Colombia, Mexico, and getting into the hills, talking to the people there, seeing if we can't source good coffee. It's, it's continued resurgence of vinyl that ultimately has me excited. Let's say 10, 12 years ago, when people started talking about vinyl again, it was primarily people like myself and older. We now see people of all ages into vinyl and it's so satisfying one of the things that I love is to watch people come into the shop get a couple records and say hey man you know we're gonna have a record party that's about ceremony it's about getting together it's about sitting down it's about turning the record over from side A to side B if things are good it's been a crazy time for the whole world and so if we can get a little normalcy come out and get together and hang out and have some good time share a few beers and whatnot that's a good thing. Thank you so much for uh, Grounds for Thought for helping us out with this. We really appreciate it, seriously. Um, yeah. Glad to do it. See you next year. Can I say weed on here? Weed. I had this 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 uh, candle right here I got. It's really well done. I really like it. But at certain angles, it kind of looked like a cock. <laughs> I like smoking weed and making art. I'm a pretty simple man. I like chicken. I have a shrew problem in my apartment. I don't know anybody else that has a shrew problem. I think it's pretty unique. I wouldn't say it's a quality, but it's certainly a trait. I was tattooing this chick recently. I was tattooing her on the back of the neck. She passed out, but she didn't just pass out. She like sat up, farted, and then passed out. I'm sure it wasn't funny for her. I hope she's not listening. I don't judge her for that. I bear her no ill will. It smelled pretty bad, but that's okay. Pay your bills on time if you can, and show gratitude. Always show gratitude. Gigs, rocking, rolling, uh, watching some sets. Um, there's a car going by. What's got you hyped up? I don't know. It's a dark time. It's hard to... This is taking a turn. My rabbits are super cool. They're becoming very nice young men. Their names are Fudge and Stinky, and one of them was found in a dumpster. This dog came up to me and attacked me, actually, like, bit me right on my leg. This was, like, a week ago. I was like, dude, your dog just bit me. And the guy was just like, oh, I'm sorry. Do you want some beer? And then I was like, sorry for yelling. Your dog just scared me. 
and he was like, I'm used to being yelled at by women. I have two older sisters. And I was like, you should unpack that. I'm glad you're okay. I'm totally fine. Yes. I really appreciate what you all do, by the way. Oh, thank you. Uh, Loon Base Studios? Yeah. yeah, Summit Shack, Shack TV, Loon Base, it's all this big I've been watching, and I like it, and I'm such a fan, and I really appreciate the work you all put in. So, um, I run a DIY booking thing up in Michigan called The Pleasant Underground. Please check us out. Very excited to just be alive right now. Thoughts on touring? Uh, it's difficult. It's fun. It is worth it. I love doing it. I recommend it to everybody else. If you can make it work, definitely go for it. Uh, Focella 5 is what's going on. That's exactly what is happening right now. Chicken nuggets get me pretty hyped up, actually, most of the time. So the other day I was listening to Michigan Public Radio, uh, WCBN FM Ann Arbor, an awesome public radio station, and there was a hot mic. There was a blowjob in the studio for sure, broadcast all out on <laughs> the air. Kid proceeded to yell fuck like 20 times, and it was it was bad, but I recorded it, and it's hilarious. If you're not at Focella 5, you're lame. I'm gonna second what he said.